One of the reasons you use any microscope is to look at fine features on the surface of something. Here we have a small spider, and you might want to look at details of the eyes, details of small hairs on it. And you would use an optical microscope um, where light comes down, strikes the subject, and goes up through the optics to your eye. So now we are going to see some of the specimen under the scanning electron microscope. You just saw uh, a bug under the light microscope, and now we are looking at another bug under the electron microscope. So this is how it looks like. And before we do that, before we take it under the microscope, we have to make sure that the sample is ready to be analyzed. And for that, it is very important that the sample is dry and it has a conductive coating. And if you look at this sample here, it has a coating of gold. Uh, gold, it has uh, small grains, so it, is, uh, it gives better resolution. And also, it is conductive, as it is a metal. And this is a biological sample, so this sample would be um, containing water. And before using under the SEM, we have to dry it. Uh, thanks to nanoscience instruments from where we bought our SEM, they gave us this sample, and it looks really beautiful. And you're going to see this image under the electron microscope. So this is a stub on which we mount uh, our specimen. And it is gold sputtered or gold coated. The coating could be anywhere between 5 to 50 nanometer, a very thin coat. And that gives us a very good topographic um, resolution and magnification of the specimen that we are looking at. This is our sample holder. And now we mount it. Once we have this, now we have to make certain that the mounted sample's highest point is below the lip of the phenome sample holder. And then once we have that, we have to make sure it is four more mo notches down. So we take it even further down. And now it is ready to be analyzed. And we put it under the chamber. So we're looking at the sample of the gold-covered bug in the um, SEM right now. We didn't get to look at it under the light microscope, but we did get to look at the spider. Um, and I got to say, this looks really cool, way cooler than the spider did under SEM. Uh, we were able to get a look at the spider's like eyes and stuff like that underneath the uh, light microscope, but it's not nearly as cool as this. You can see here we have um, a beautiful compact eye that you can see very well under SEM. Um, and there's nice contrast in between um, uh, all the different elemental um, co different compositions in the bug. Um, and definitely I love that you can see all these tiny little microscopic hairs in here. Um, it's, they're very cool looking and you don't get to see that with a light microscope.